hello students so this class is uh, of uh, week 4 problem number 5 a line ab is 75 mm long the true length is 75 mm uh, a is 50 mm in front of ep and 15 mm above hp and uh, b is 15 mm in front of ep so here angle is not specified you just notice you can notice here uh, the angle is not specified but point b is specified in front of vp is above hp it is obviously above hp somewhat it is a distance so the top view is given this is a key for the projection the top view is ab is 50 mm long find the front view length and the true inclination so angle true inclination angle so this question it's very simple the both direction the line is with respect to horizontal with respect to vertical it is tilted so you are just going to make the projection for this let me draw the reference line so in this 50 mm long is uh, specified hence uh, I have to give 50 mm here okay i think this is this space is sufficient okay let us check so let it be the reference line x and y so this is vp what are all the uh, alphabets we are giving in vp that's supposed to be dash and hp alphabets in hp it's plain number for our identification um, uh, the question is they have specified clearly about the point a point a was specified clearly it is 50 mm in front of VP, 50 mm in front of VP in the sense it will become you can able to see in the HP in front of VP point you can able to see in the HP let me mark here so this point is A and uh, 15 mm above HP that means 15 mm marking here it will be 15 mm above hv so that is a dash you mark side by side the distances this is 50 mm this is 15 mm okay so you just make uh, properly the dimension i was not able to make here i could not able to turn okay uh, so two points we have uh, identified in uh, for a line a remaining point is here we can with the two point we can draw the locus let us draw this is locus of a dash this is locus of a somewhat here uh, they are specifying it is 15 mm see the point b is 15 mm in front of vp is above hp also they are specifying the top view is ab is 50 mm long so what i am saying i am just making one 15 mm here 15 mm here i am just making the locus of b so somewhere somewhat the locus of b will be here locus of b so this is 15 mm so let me mark this is 15 mm so what they are specifying here the top view of a b a we have marked b some maybe in this locus is 50 mm long so let me measure the 50 mm length by compass and I am keeping A as a center, I am intersecting this line. So this is a point of B. So let me draw here. It's a well, it's an apparent length directly we got. And darkening it. So apparent length that is A B. Fine. So now we need to identify 
the true length is given okay true length is given is 75 mm long uh, yeah so the top view we have seen a to b here when we are rotating this we may get the true inclination so let us rotate this this line let us rotate this line so we are getting the point here that also may be 50 so you are acting a vertical line so the rotating also i'll show or else you'll forget like this i am rotating the point b to identify the locus of b dash so i am erecting a vertical line let it be but from the point a dash the true length if you are finding the true length of 75 mm you could able to identify the locus of b dash let me measure that 75 mm true length which is given in the problem a b so i'm intersecting here so again i'm erecting this line so this is a point of locus of b dash we didn't identify the point b b dash it is a locus of b dash let it be so this length is a true length this two is a true length this angle is a true angle which is asked in the problem let us identify later so i already told you this point b and uh, b dash will be in the parallel line so either if you are rotating by a true length or uh, if they are just making the parallel length uh, any one method is suitable method is sufficient so you just erect the vertical line just show the direction as a guided line so this is a point b dash this is a point b dash later on you can connect so this is both line we just got the question they have asked this length true length we know this is apparent length they have not asked and the question to find the front view length and true inclination so the true inclination one is here and another one we need to identify so when you need if you need to identify the true inclination so you have to rotate again you have to rotate again for the in for a hp so you keep a as dash as a center b dash as radius again you rotate this will meet to another locus and erect a perpendicular lines this is a this is a guiding point you can say this is a b2 dash and this point is b1 so this is a point from here if you are dropping a line that is that has to touch another locus and this is a point of uh, b2 if you are just connecting these two this is supposed to be a true length so let us measure this length and we just verify so this must be a true length when you are rotating like this any edges you can rotate so see it must be a true length see 75 mm this is a true length this is a true length 75 mm so this is also a true angle so true angle in hp true angle in vp we need to identify so keep the protractor here it's almost 20 see almost 30 is here it's almost passing here so let us say 28 degree similarly it's almost 50 is here it's below 50 it's 247 point something is coming let us write 48 degree verify the book these angles are called as the true inclination uh, true inclination 
28 degree it is not a dia it's a phi phi is also known as a inclination notation so 48 degree so it is with respect to hp it's with respect to oh, vp yeah that's it so this is a final diagram for the for the given question okay that's it thanks